from a picturesque countryside to a Roman fort, an ancient chapel and ghostly hauntings, this coastal village on the very tip of the Dengue Peninsula in Essex, England, has it all. A big hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, Yana and I have travelled out to visit the Dengue Peninsula in Essex, England. This peninsula is formed by the River Crouch to the south and the Blackwater to the north, both which are tidal estuaries. The North Sea is located to the east of this land. The reason Yana and I have brought you here to this location is to visit St. Peter on the Wall Chapel, which sits prominently on the tip of the Dengue Peninsula and on the site of the Roman Saxon shore fort of Afona. Sadly, the only thing left of this old Roman fort is the earthworks, and we will be taking a look at those later in this video. So please keep watching as the chapel and the area is very lovely. The ancient Roman fort of Afona is located close to the modern village of Bradwell-on-Sea, Essex, and is typically late 3rd century in style. The Roman fort, it is believed to have been constructed during the Carausian Revolt, which ultimately led to the short-lived Britannic Roman Empire. This revolt occurred during the years 286-296 Most of the fort was swallowed by the sea. Some of the material was used to build the 7th century chapel, St. Peter on the Wall. That's right, the chapel we are visiting today was built in the 7th century between the years 660 and 662 making it close to 1400 years old the chapel is among the oldest largely intact christian churches in england and it's still in use today often by the nearby afona community which is a christian based community and retreat center which was founded in 1946 by Norman Motley, who was a Church England priest who had served as an RAF chaplain during the Second World War. The community welcomes people of all faiths. St Peter's Chapel belongs to the Diocese of Chelmsford Cathedral, which is a site I have visited in a previous video. I will add the link above, so feel free to give the video a visit. The chapel is also looked after by the parish church of St. Thomas, Bradwell on Sea. The Chapel of St. Peter on the Wall is not an architectural masterpiece, nor is it well known for its ornamentation or the relics it hosts. This small, sober and impretious chapel located on Bradwell-on-Sea in Essex 
is among the oldest, mostly intact Christian churches in England. In fact, some sources claim this is the second oldest Christian building in all of Great Britain. Still standing today, St Martin's Church in Canterbury being the first. The little we know about the man who built it, Saint said, we get from St Bede's ecclesiastical history of the English people. According to Bede, Said was born in Northumbria and was taken to the holy island of Lindisfarne, the great centre of Celtic Christianity, by St. Aidan himself. Bede also relates that Said had three brothers, Chad, Cinnabal and Caelan. All four were priests, but only Said and Chad became bishops. By the year 653, Said was already a so, we can date his birth around the year 620. One year after his ordination in 654, Said built St. Peter on the Wall among the ruins of an abandoned Roman fort, using some of the Roman bricks and stones he had found in the place. He built this Anglo-Celtic church for the East Saxons living in the area, as he had been sent from Lindisfarne at the request of the then King of the Saxons, Sigberth the Good. Since that time, the chapel had belonged to the London Diocese, since St. Said served as bishop there. In 653, Said sailed down the east coast of England from Linda's farm and landed at Bradwell. Here he found the ruins of the old deserted Roman fort. He probably first built a small wooden church on this site, but as there was so much stone from the fort, he soon realised that would provide a much more permanent building, so he replaced it the next year with the chapel we see today said modelled this church on the style of the churches in Egypt and Syria. The Celtic Christians were greatly influenced by the churches in that part of the world. And we know that Saint Anthony of Egypt had built his church from the ruins of a fort on the banks of a river, just as Saint Said did here on the banks of the River Blackwater here in Essex, then known as the River Pant. But we also know very little about the history of this chapel. We know the year it was founded from Bede's texts and then we hear nothing of it again until the 15th century when local clergymen report to the Bishop of London that they have expanded the church slightly. The church suffered a fire and was repaired and remained in use until the 16th century when it was abandoned for a few centuries and even used as a barn for a while. It was finally restored and re-consecrated as a chapel in 1920. Interestingly, this site is also believed to be haunted. It is said that the church is haunted by ghostly silent figures that walk around the inside of this chapel and unexplainable light shines within. It's unclear what the ghostly figures are and why they're there. It's been reported that a regular lonely man died here whilst praying. It's quite interesting now. Look, I've seen this in a few places as we've walked around his chapel but some people have placed there's some feathers in there and some shells a very old nail just there that's a square nail that is so that's very old and another one just there a few more rocks left oh, that's got some kind of name on here what's that say it 
It's amazing when you look really close actually, you start noticing a few things that people have left. There's little gestures on a little pilgrimage. Oh, there's a shell there. It's quite a nice one. So yeah, this site is part of St. Peter's Way and is a route for pilgrims and has been for centuries. So here, just, just in the wall, got a couple of shells left just there. Very interesting. Okay, we're gonna leave this chapel behind for a moment and we're gonna take a little wander down to where the Roman fort was and have a little look at those earthworks while we're in this area. Let's get this door open. About 300 metres away there is the Fona community, which is that Christian community which I mentioned earlier in the video. And that's just there behind in amongst those trees there. As you can see on the map there, you can see St. Peter's Church. And then we've got the old fort walls were and that's where we're going to take a look now it's a bit of a windy day actually today pretty cold down here on the coast of Essex as well it's a bit too cold for Yana so Yana's just heading up there she, she's actually gonna go and sit in the car for a little bit I think because she's getting a bit cold and the Roman fort everybody is in that direction there. You can kind of see the earthworks, like some kind of ditch work. Don't know if you can see that in the distance. And that's the sea out there, it's quite choppy. We might even take a quick wander down there as well and have a little look. There's Peter up there, he's just doing a 360 walk around. Okay, so I'm heading up in the direction of where the Roman earthworks are. Actually, it looks like there's all old earthworks in here, actually. Might look at look. Look at that everybody, a large piece of Roman brick. And there's lots of it over here. There's another nice piece there, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Well, I just found some really nice Roman bricks, everyone. Quite similar to the ones that are in that church. Now, just now, sadly, a lot of this has been washed away by the ocean. But these are the earthworks all the way along here. And it's now marshy land. It's where that Roman fort once stood. Apparently there are a few 
few areas where you can still see some of those very old remains. There we go everyone, I found sections of that Roman fort. Pretty cool. All the way along here. It's a nice Roman brick there. Well, a big thank you everybody for joining Yana and I here at St. Peter on the Wall in Bradwell on Sea. We've certainly enjoyed exploring this wonderful area and we hope everybody at home has too. So until next time, stay safe everyone. And Yana and I will see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye everybody.